What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Come on in, air signs. I'm here to do your general reading, okay? This is for my Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini placements. All right. Thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, the love you give the channel. Special thank you to my booze who be hitting up my tip jar and who have scheduled their appointments for services with me. I ask that you please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm and it makes your girl so damn happy. All right. Um, I'm your girl, A. Nicole. Um, I'm doing this general reading for my booze. I ask that you only take what resonate and you leave the rest behind, okay? I'm doing this reading for air sign placements, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So it's not just for you, alrighty? Take what resonate, leave the rest. I can't stress that enough. I've already cleansed the space. I've already hollered at our ancestors and our spirit team. And we are ready to go. I started with my numerology deck. Um, I love numbers. Spirit talks to us through synchronizations. So I wanted to, uh, yeah, start off with this. So let's start. 11, 11, first card. I says, I am awakening. Mm, as Trick gets his ass off my motherfucking bed. All right. I am awakening. Confirmation. Hey, Papa. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you are. The universe is helping you awaken to who you are and sending you people, you know, to help you in your new chapter, you know, in this, as you awake from this slumber. Wow, I like this. It says, I am adaptable. Okay, flexibility is your forte. You all right, Tricky? Flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavor so you are adaptable. Okay? Especially my Gemini placements. Uh, and that's crazy because um, Earth signs got the same. Um, and I said the same about uh, Virgos because Geminis, you are mutable signs. So you are always changing. You are always transmuting. You are always mutating. Alrighty. Next 25. I am intelligent. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to drive to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. Of course, you're intelligent. You all are air signs. That's thoughts. You know, analyzing information. All of the above. All right. Let's get into your reading some more. All right, spirit. Tell me more about my air placements. Tell me more about my Gemini, Aquarius, and Libras. How are the booze doing? Tell me more, spirit. How are the booze doing? Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. What do we have for my air placements tricky why are you standing there make the police what do we have for my air placements what are the messages thank you spirit for my air placements lead the way light your own path spirit is saying buck the system i'm hearing 23 2 plus 3 is 5 change like i said a lot of you all are going through intense change you're awakening you know that's why spirit is saying we need you to be adaptable. We need you to be flexible because we're waking your ass up. We're about to be taking you to some new horizons. You're about to be see, seeing, feeling, and saying some different shit. Okay? Lead the way. Light your own path. Do your own thing. That's what a lot of you all are awakening to. You know? Like, congratulations. That's what the fuck we like to see. You could also have an Aries prominent placement. I say that because it's like, well, I know it's a buck, but whenever I see the bucks in here, I think of the little rams. I know they're not the same, but just the the antlers. An energy signature, another five. One plus four is five. A lot of y'all are undergoing a lot of motherfucking change. Five, five, five so far. You have three fives. The past is in the present. Hmm. Okay. Resolve the issue, emotional challenges. Okay, so what's going on, babies? 
with this resolve, the, the issue, bottom of the deck, love and light, act with care. Hmm. Light your own path. The past is in the present. Resolve the issue. Hmm. Let's clarify. Let's clarify for my air buoys. Lead the way. Light your own path. Let's talk about that. You know what? Hold up. Let me do this first. Lead the way is 23. 23. 2 plus 3 is 5. In energy signature is 14, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5, 5. Emotional um, challenges, 1 plus 3 um, is a 4. I'm sorry. I was thinking about 13, and I was about to say a lot of you all could be experiencing a lot of sudden deaths because the 13th uh, card in the major arcana is uh, the death card. So some of you all, that could be a part of your emotional challenges, you know, um, kicking back or pushing back on a lot of sudden changes or deaths or something like that but five five four five five four five five four support lines don't do this alone do not do this alone what did i tell you spirit is sending you people spirit is on deck for y'all your angels want you to ask for help not just from them but those around you asking for help Opens yourself up to the hands of your angels and with their support, what lies ahead will not be faced alone. You better tap in to your community and your spirit team. Y'all got help, especially as you all adapt. Seven of Cups. Okay, options. Seven of Cups talks about options. Vet them options, though. The Seven of Cups can also talk about cloudy uh, decisions, cloudy judgment. You know, all of those cups being offered are surrounded by clouds. And not all of those cups have something good for you in them. Okay, so use your ability to think. You know, your your ability to analyze your intellect. You know, to really to really vet people. You know, one, see if one plus one equals two. Whatever opportunities are being handed to you, vet them. You know, everything somebody's trying to put in your hand ain't for your highest good. Judgment card. Mm, seven of Swords. Three of Cups. What the fuck? I don't want to go there, Spirit. I go, I'm like, what the fuck? This ain't for everybody. Judgment. Seven of Swords, Three of Cups. Somebody could have found out or been awakened to uh, somebody being sneaky. Judgment talks about making a judgment about something that you may have been awakened to. That's something that may have been brought to your attention. You know, so you made some sort of a judgment. It could also talk about an awakening. You know, and that's what your card says. You are awakening. A lot of you all are being awakened to a lot of shit. It could have a lot to do with these people offering you shit. Fake love. You know, this is what they're trying to make it seem like it is. And it's a whole motherfucking snake in a cup. You know? Hmm. Seven of Swords is deception. Ulterior motive. Snake energy. Lies. Dishonesty. Trying to get away with something. You could have that that could have been something that was brought to your attention. Air signs, you may have had to make some sort of decision. This decision could have caused some sort of an awakening for you. I'm hearing three of cups. It could have been, you know, you found out the seven of swords to the three of cups. You could have found out mother this motherfucker was pouring a cup in somebody else's motherfucking cup. Third party situations. Hmm. How the hell did we get here, air signs? Tell me more about the air signs, page of swords, king of swords. Wow. King of swords and the page of swords. You showing up in your own reading. King of swords is air signs. Um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay. And page of swords is the information card. Somebody could be watching you. Somebody who you made some sort of a judgment on. Somebody you may have cut them off with this king of swords. It, you, it could be a fellow air sign placement. 
but whoever this is somebody is 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 wanting to get to know about you they're getting their information together and they're coming towards you with this knight of swords knight of swords to the page of swords yes somebody wants to come in and talk to you they're coming in hot literally they want to come in and chat with you somebody you may have made some sort of decision on that they were sneaky they may have done something out of pocket that came out of spirit was like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. let's get to this shit hmm. the past is in the present yeah it, energy signature somebody is stealing your energy somebody won't let your energy go somebody is refusing to they could be the ones having the emotional challenges. Two of, of, of wands. Yeah, I feel like this person is planning to come towards you. But spirit is like, no, whatever that judgment was you made, it was to take you out of your comfort zone and to awaken you. Two of wands, strategy, planning, stepping out of your comfort zone. Hmm. Even though this may have hurt you with this emotional challenges, spirit is like, you got this. You all right, you big dog. Tell me more about this emotional challenges, though, spirit. Tell me more about emotional challenges. Tell me more about emotional challenges with my um, air placements. First card out, we have two of swords. You see what time that is. Next card out, we have ten of swords. Woo. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this could be something that you invested a lot in. You invested a lot in. It could be a connection with the Seven of Pentacles, you know. You could have put a lot in. You could have depended on something, made some sort of investment that you thought was going to bring you some sort of a harvest. You know, you could have done this blindly with this Two of Swords. Blinded by love, you know, the moon is back there. It could have been a lot of things hidden from you. Hmm. Some sort of uncertainty. Hmm. And then you have the Ten of Swords. And I think that, that that Two of Swords led you to the Ten of Swords. You know? Now you it started with two, two, two motherfucking uh, crosses on the heart. Now look, the heart got all the Ten Swords in it and it's bleeding. Hmm. And I feel like that could be something that you could be mewling over. You invested a lot. You, 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 I'm hearing I gave a lot of my... My time, I gave the best years of my life. I don't know why people be saying that. Because I'd be like, well, damn. So that means you don't want to be shit um, in the next years? Like, what the hell is going on? Ten of Pentacles. This could have been someone you wanted to build some sort of long-term um, goal with. You know, a legacy with, with Ten of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, seven to the Ten of Pentacles. This was something, a lot of you, you were in this for the long haul. But it was a lot of shit going on behind your back that was hurting you. Six of Wands. I feel like for a lot of you, you could be getting over that with this Six of Wands. Six of Wands talks about a recognized victory. Coming a long way and, and being triumphant. You know, like being recognized for your hard work. So I feel Spirit is recognizing a lot of you for your hard work and dedication. Five of um of of wands is here now. This talks about chaos, conflict, <sighs> insecurities, jealousy, arguments, fighting. You could have been conflicted about some shit. You could have been feeling insecure, especially after you heard about, you know, what the fuck happened. Look, world card staring at me. World card in the Knight of Wands. Yeah, for a lot of you. You all found out somebody you were dealing with was some sort of player, some in some sort of Knight of Wands energy. And I feel like a lot of you all are closing the cycle on that. Closing the chapter on that and, and growing, moving on from that. Hmm, the hangman. Gaining a new perspective, seeing things differently, seeing things clearly. Having a spiritual awakening, hangman energy, Pisces energy. Spirit tapping in to give you some sort of new perspective, new downloads. Hmm. Anything else for the air signs? Spirit. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. And the Eight of Wands, but somebody is coming towards you and fast. Knight of Cups to the Eight of Wands. Somebody is rushing towards you. You know, with a cup runneth over of love. 
They want to resolve the issue. That could be them I'm talking about. They are having emotional challenges. They want to come and resolve the issue. Yeah, switch the energies around. Hmm. Queen of Wands. Eight of Swords. Hmm. This could either be you stuck in your head or them stuck in their head. Especially if they stepped out on you with this Queen of Wands. You know, this person could be stuck in their head about playing victim mode. Hmm. Seven of Wands in reverse. They want you to put your guard down with them. Especially if you block them. King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to come in and bring in some sort of a stable offer with you. King of Pentacles energy is Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You can also take that as it resonates. Nine of Cups. Three of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. No, Spirit is like, no, you need to go out there and go after what you want. Nine of Cups talks about self-fulfillment. Wishes being granted on an individual level. You know... Being self-fulfilled, being satisfied, having all your wishes coming true. Three of Wands, this is the expansion card. You know, watching your ships come in. You know, making, exploring new territory, making new friends, having new um, experiences. You know, Wheel of Fortune, a new cycle begins. This person wants to do that with you too. They feel like you their wish fulfillment. They want a new cycle with you. If this is your person coming back. This person could be having some sort of challenges. Hmm, what's this? Hangman. They could have realized some shit. Been enlightened to some shit. Now, now they want to come rushing in with a love offer. And all that other bullshit. If the messages are resonating for you, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm. And it makes your girl so happy. Alrighty, let's go into another deck. I want to go into my power of surrender um, deck to see what you all need to be surrendering, what you all need to be letting go of. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Power of surrender. What do my air placements need to let go of? What do they need to surrender, spirit, air placement, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, surrender to passion, this first one, okay? It says, get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow, okay? Air sign, surrender to passion, awaken, adapt, get you some passion in your life. Surrender procrastination, spirit is also saying. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. So whatever it is, that goal, y'all know what I'm talking about. Surrender negative thinking. You have all of that power, that intellectual power, and you use it against yourself to have negative thinking. I won't, not on my watch. It says you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly focus, refocus on positive affirmations. Surrender negative thinking. You need that. You need that band. That bandwidth to have those amazing ideas that you all come up with. Okay. Surrender to joy. Something about y'all being a little too stoic. Passion and joy. Y'all need to have a little fun. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Anything else for my air signs? What's this? Surrender your desire to control people, air signs. Okay, being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Okay, so should nobody be rushing in, and your ass shouldn't be rushing in. All right. To, to control others. Surrender your attachment to results. Okay? The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen and let go of the results. Holding on to too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Okay? Let's see. Let me go into my messages from spirit. 
and see what we have for my air booze. I'm sorry. Mustang Sally outside. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for my air signs? What messages from Spirit do we have for my air signs? A child's love. Okay. The love between a parent and child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as a part of us, and from their first cries, they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts. Okay, so you all may be really close to your baby. Some of you all may be having a baby. You may be expecting. Congratulations. Some of you all may have a good relationship with your, your child. You like spending a lot of time. Like your child's love just really heals you. Or maybe your ass ain't. You, you too busy working. You too busy this and that. And the spirit is saying, spend some time with your children. Spend some time with your babies. And if it's not them, spend some time with your inner child. Be proud. Ooh. Be proud. Okay? It's time to celebrate all you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. Be proud of yourself. A lot of you all have come so far. You've come so far. And, you've, and you're, you're, you're lying to yourself that you're not doing enough. Nature is calling you. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, uh, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. Light. Last one. Imagine yourself being composed of energy and light because in reality, that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. You are brilliant. You're intelligent. Light. They're, and you're your air signs. Like, it, it, it's tying in so beautifully. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? Let me go into my self-care. Be light. That's what people are attracted to in you. Let me go into my self-care deck. Let's see what the hell you need to be practicing as it pertains to self-care. Give me some self-care messages for my air signs here. Give me some self-care messages for my air signs. Give me some self-care messages for my air signs. Thank you. Give me some self-care messages. Give me some self-care messages for my air signs. Intention. Okay. It says, what if the only resolution you made was to love yourself more? Look at that. Self-worth. Why settle for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal? Who got time being hungry? Your stomach's still gonna be growling. You're gonna be more upset, more angry. Why the fuck you hungrier than a hostage? And you over here uh settling for the the food court samples on that toothpick you know that ain't gonna do shit for you but make you mad stop stop settling for breadcrumbs okay you are worth so much more and then some tell me more spirit security true security comes from having a reserve of time space energy personal power and love Make deposits in all three of these accounts and you'll be a wealthy person indeed. And then abundance came right on top. Wow. Abundance. Being a thoughtful steward for the money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. Lastly, decision. Sometimes the best decision is no decision at all. That's for somebody. That's for somebody. I don't know who you are, but that's for somebody. Okay? Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm. And it makes your girl so happy. Do we have any more self-care messages for my air sign booze? Do we have any more self-care messages for my air sign booze? Surrender. Stop trying to control life. It gets in the way of divine intervention. 
surrender the need or the outcome you know what, what what did it say in the surrender your 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 need to control the outcome and so and spirit is saying it again stop trying to control the narrative stop trying to control the outcome put in the work step back and let the divine take it from there okay i'm gonna leave it here i'm gonna leave it here i hope these messages have brought you some sort of clarity comfort closure whatever it was you were looking for I hope you found it here and then some with me. I'm your girl, A. Nicole. Thank you all so much to my air sign placements for tuning in. You are more than welcome to join the community. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you. If you want to check me out, I'll off of here. Again, I will leave my information in the LinkedIn. My LinkedIn, Lord. The, my description below, my link tree. It'll take you to all of my links, okay? Um, I'm rooting for y'all. I love y'all. I want the best for y'all and I'm here for y'all. Okay. Whatever y'all need. Okay. Whatever you want, whatever you need, anything you want done, baby. I'll do it naturally. Okay. Shaka gun. I'm rooting for y'all. Y'all keep y'all motherfucking head up. Y'all keep y'all motherfucking bread up. And you know, you better keep these hoes fed the fuck up so they can shut the fuck up. All right, remember you are adaptable and you are awakening. Those came out again. Spirit says you are adaptable and you are awakening. Some of you all are awakening to just how motherfucking adaptable you are. How many times you can shed your skin and be big, bigger, better, better. That's a beautiful, powerful, amazing thing. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I love y'all. I'll see you all on another video. Y'all take care of y'all motherfucking selves. Y'all don't let these hoes get you motherfucking down. All right? And you allow yourself to transform, transmute. Step into your new phase, whatever that looks like. Bye-bye.